when the hurly burly's done, when the battle's lost and won, upon the heath that will be ere the sets of sun, where the place that to meet with Macbeth, I come, Grey Malkin. Padakos, anon. So foul and fair a day I have not seen. And what are these, so withered and wild in their attire, and look not like the inhabitants of the earth, and yet are all? Live you, or are you what that man may question? Seem to understand me by each other once to chop a finger to his skinny lips. Speak if you can. What are you? Sinner's death, I know I am Thane of Glamis, but how of Carter? Thane of Carter lives, a prosperous gentleman, and to be king stands not within the prospect of belief. No more than to be Carter. Save from whence you are with this strange intelligence. Why upon this blasted heath you stop my way? Such a prophetic greeting. Speak, I charge you! Bubbles is the water, as well. Now they vanish. Into the air, more seem corporal melted as breath and heat. They had steam. Why, how now, Hecate? You look angry. Have I not reason? Bell. Saucy and overbold. How did you dare to trade in traffic with Macbeth, in riddles and affairs of death? And I, the mistress of your charm, the close contriver of all harms, was never called to bear my part or show the glory of our art. And which is worse, all you have done hath been for a wayward son, spiteful and wrathful, who as others do, loves for its own ends, not for you, but make amends now, get you gone, and at the pit of Archeron, meet me in the morning, thither he will come to know his destiny, your vessels and your spells provide, your charm and everything I am for the air. This night I'll spend unto a decimal and fatal end. Great business must be wrought ere noon. Upon the comer of the moon, there hangs a vaporous drop profound. I'll catch it ere it comes to ground and be still by magic slight, shall raise such artificial sprites as by the strength of their illusion shall draw him on to his confusion. He shall spurn faith, scorn death, above wisdom, grace, and fear. And you all know, security is mortal's chiefest enemy. <laughs>
a dagger which I see upon. Come, I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, since the feeling is thou art a sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat of present brain? I see thee still. In form as palpable as this, which now I draw. The marshal me the way which I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made fools of the other senses. Or else. But. I see thee still. And on thy blade and dungeon guts of blood, which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now, for the one half world, nature seems dead. Wicked dreams abuse their cat in sleep. Now witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's or rings and withered murder. Alarum by his sentinel, the wolf, who howls his watch. Thus with his stealthy pace, with Tarquin's ravishing strides towards his design moves. Thou shall and firm set earth, hear not my steps which where they walk, for fear the very stones prate of my whereabouts, and take the present whore from the time, which now suit for I threat he lives. Worse than he of deeds, too cold breath gives. I go, and it is time. Bell invites me. Err not, Duncan, for it is a knell which summons thee to heaven, or to hell. Sorry, sight. There's one did lap, I see. One cried murder, that they'd wake each other. I stood and heard them. They did say their prayers and trust them again to sleep. One cried, God bless us, and I met the other, as so they had seen me with these hangman's hands. Listening to their fear, I could not pronounce Amen when they did say, God bless us. Oh, wherefore could I not pronounce Amen? I had mostly to bless me, a man stuck in my throat. I thought I heard a voice cry, Sleep no more, make bad thought, murder sleep. 
innocent slave. Slave. It's a beloved slave of care. Death of each day's life. Poor laborers bath born. Bad minds. Great nature's second course. Cheap nurse and nice feast. Still a great sleep no more in our house. Glams at mad at sleep and therefore God to sleep no more. Sister knocking. Oh, how is with me when every noise appalls me? Hey, what hands like that? Oh, they pluck out mine eye. Oh, great Neptune's oceans wash this blood clean from my hands. No. 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 This my hand will rather the multitude in the seas in Canada. Making the clean one. No more idea. Best not to know myself. Wait, Duncan! Was I knocking? Demand will answer. 
Say if thee hasn't rather hear from our mouths or from our masters. Call. Call them. Let me see it. Are. Macbeth shall never vanquish be until great burning wood to high does an ain hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress a force, bid the tree and fix his earth bound root? Sweet bone mitts. Rebellious dead rise never till the wood of Burnham rise. And this high place Macbeth will live his lease of nature, pay his breath the time in mortal custom. What is this, sir? Aye, sir. Oh, this is so. But why stands Macbeth thus amazed? Come, sisters, cheer we up his sprites, and show the best of our delight. I'll charm the air to make a sound while you perform your answer round. That this great king may kindly say our duties did his work pay. Be lying, metal proud, and take no care. Who chafes, who frets, or where conspires up? May Beth shall never vanquish be until. Great burning wood to hide. Wood to hide does the name hill shall come against him. Against him. Against him. Shall come against him. Be lying, metal proud, and take no care. Who chase? Who frets? Or where conspirers are? Macbeth, Macbeth shall never vanquish be until. until Great burning wood to hide Dunsinane Hill shall come shall against come. him, against him, against him. Macbeth shall never vanquish be until great burning wood 